Hello, hello, hello there, my crafty buds. It's your crafty bud, Peggy, and welcome to Stormy's Imagination Station. Guys, if you're new to the channel, please stick around. we got a lot coming up. We've got a lot of people I want to introduce you to, so hit that subscribe button and stay. Guys, what you're looking at here is what I have made for uh, Grandma. We're going up there this weekend to see Grammy. Uh, Grammy's going to be 106 this year, y'all. Woo! My gosh, can you believe it? She's still doing good, y'all. Uh, Grammy just went to assisted living, though. It's not like a nursing home or nothing like that. She's got her own apartment and everything. But there is nurses on call 24 hours a day in case something does happen that Grandma needs help. Mom and Dad are also going into uh, one of the assisted living places. Uh, they've done sold the house, in fact. Uh, both of them are in their 80s as well, you guys. And uh, they're just looking for simplistic so, uh, anyways, guys, Grandma wanted me to tell you guys thank you again so much for all your hard work last year with the hands. She still has them. They are in her apartment there, and uh, she keeps them next to her chair, in fact, in a basket. And every once in a while, she'll reach down and grab one and check it out. And she said that was just the coolest thing that you guys could have done for her. And she said thank you so much again, and she does remember it, so... She's doing really good for 106, you guys. But this year, I thought I'd make something pretty for her uh, wall. So this is what I did, guys. I took an old metal embroidery hoop, and I didn't cover the whole thing because I wanted you to be able to see what it originally was, that this was one of those old vintage metal embroidery hoops. And, guys, I took uh, various doilies and appliques. I used this beautiful gold applique that I got here. From one of my hauls, I think. This is one of my jewelry pieces that I've taken apart and putting on here. I have used champagne colored flatback pearls. I used a beautiful uh, Victorian image and I burned the edges, guys. That's real burnt edges there. I really love the look of that. Uh, give that a try, y'all. Do it carefully. Kids do not do it. <laughs> But get you somewhere safe and just burn the edges of it, guys, and put it out, and, and you'll be really amazed at the uh, edge work that comes out of that. Guys, this was a big doily that I'd gotten over at the Salvation Army, and I cut the roses off of it, and I put a flat back pearl in the middle of it, and just kind of left her raw. Like I said, I really wanted you to be able to tell what this was. And then I matched it on the other side over there. Uh, we went down with a uh, applique that I had in the back for the front. These, again, are, are pieces off of the necklace that I took apart to make this. Y'all know I loved upcycle jewelry. And then I come down here. I'd gotten this trim from uh, ks for You and cut three of those off, uh, flowered them, put some uh, champagne-colored flatback pearls in the middle as well as drips on the bottom. Then the edges of it, guys, I went with some of my signature beaded trim all the way around for the middle of the hoop to kind of fill that in. I just wanted to leave bits and pops. And in the back of it is another beautiful doily that I've encompassed the back of it with. And I thought that turned out good. I thought uh, that looked good on, on Grammy's wall. So this is kind of what it looks like again. Let's see if I can get it. I can't quite get it all in the in the thing there but this is what I did guys and this was a very easy project I used um, Eileen's tacky glue and a little bit of E6000 as normal to do this with so I think it turned out really good I just wanted to share that with you and tell y'all again how much grandma really appreciated your hands across the world challenge last year and uh, for her 105th birthday and as uh, she still looks at those and uh, she has them sitting right next to her chair like I said she works on jigsaw puzzles and um, crossword puzzles she said that's a hint to everyone out there keep your mind active and you'll stay good get up and walk around don't just sit in a chair uh, so there's advice from a 106 year old woman and guys again I hope you're having a wonderful start to your week. I'm I'm feeling a little bluish. I'm I'm trying to get feeling a little bit better. I gotta go to work after a while, so I have no choice. So anyways guys, I hope everything's good in your world and until next time, be crafty, be cool, 
and give one of these um, uh, old embroidery hoops a try. You'd be amazed at what you could do. This was the first one of these I've ever made. So until next time, be crafty, be cool, and I'll see you when I'm looking at you. All right, bye-bye.